The WNBA and NBA pay wage scale has been the topic of debate for a couple years now as we have notable WNBA players speaking out on the inequalities they feel that they have to the NBA in terms of they should be getting paid about the same, or maybe not the same, but definitely a lot more than they should. But here on The Charge, we're going to be discussing the differences between the WNBA and the NBA, and at the end, we're going to be discussing do they have a point or is it kind of apples to oranges? LeBron James all the way in. Here comes Simmons the other way. Three on two. Simmons eludes the defender and lays it in with that. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Bernie here, bringing you yet another video here in the charge, giving the latest NBA news and rumors, and also basketball opinions. And before we get started on to today's video, talking about the pay wage scale and what Skylar Diggins had to say about LeBron James and Harrison Barnes, go and check out our other videos we have on the channel. Of course, we have our infamous Fixer Upper series where we go over each and every team and see how we can make them better for the playoffs for the NBA Finals or even get to the NBA Finals itself. Of course, we have a video talking about the Utah Jazz. Can they reach the NBA Finals? Go and check that out as it is an interesting watch to go and see what I think of the Utah Jazz and how I think they can improve. But like I said, we got to talk about this Skylar Diggins stuff. And this is what Skylar Diggins had to say about Harrison Barnes being the highest paid player on the Dallas Mavericks. I'm the highest paid player on the Dallas Wings and my salary is in the low six figures. Harrison Barnes, the highest played player on the Dallas Mavericks, made $24 million last season. He's definitely younger than me. Do you know his stats? Was he an all-star? I mean, it doesn't matter. But last year, I was an all-team NBA WNBA player, which only goes to five players. I was also a WNBA all-star for the third time. She also goes on to say about the, in terms of the revenue, players in the NBA get about 50% of the revenue. For the women, the percentage is in the 20s. So before we even talk about base salary or anything like that, we don't even get paid the same percentage of the revenue that we bring in, which is unbelievable. People try to hijack the issue and say that women's basketball may not be an interesting game because they disparage women in sports, period. But we don't even make the same percentage of the revenue. And the jersey sales, we don't get any of it. The men do. And I have a top five jersey for the three of the four years in the WNBA. Skylar Diggins also goes on to say, talking about how ESPN doesn't do enough to cover them, and she said, but you rarely see the WNBA player on the worldwide leader of sports, ESPN. You rarely see them talk about the women's sports in general, let alone highlights of the WNBA games. Yes, LeBron is one of the best athletes in the world. They'll even go into everything that he ate before they show a highlight of a WNBA game. And let's talk about that point first. Skylar Diggins, do you know ESPN? Like, have you watched them for the past, what is it, 10 to 12 years? They only cover the big markets. They only cover LeBron James and what he ate. Did he eat Blades pizza? Did he eat Mod pizza? I mean, ESPN talks about LeBron James and the big name players because it draws attention and clicks to their website, to their TVs, to people subscribing to ESPN. I think she gets confused there is because they don't show a lot of WNBA stuff. They don't show a lot of women's highlights. And I get that. I, I think it sucks, but... They're doing a better job, I think, in the last couple of years than they have been ever before. And you're seeing that a little bit because I believe that they have their own women's channel for ESPN in the cable package. So if you really are invested in WNBA or women's sports in general, I believe that they have a channel for it. And there is some times where I see, you know, NCA women's softball on ESPN itself. So I think saying that it's only LeBron James, yeah, it's true at some points. But they also talk about other stuff as well. But the real thing we have to talk about, of course, is the WNBA and NBA in terms of do they think they get about the same? Obviously, we have to talk about the revenue. But let's compare the two real quick. The NBA versus the WNBA. The NBA players play about an 82-game season, while the WNBA players play a 34-game season. And the reason why I bring this up as my number one point is because... For the amount of work that the NBA players are making, it's 82 compared to the women's 34. I'm not saying that, you know, the WNBA players don't work as hard as the men do, but in terms of work, let's say this is, you know, person one, person two. If person one does X amount of work, let's say he does about 42 tasks that the boss wants him to do compared to the other person who does about 24. Does that make sense for the person who got the most tasks done to get paid about equal to what the person who made 24 tasks has done? And that's the reason why I get a little bit frustrated in terms of these WNBA players talking about this stuff is because I believe it's apples to oranges like I talked about at the beginning of the video. I don't believe it's apples to apples. If we continue moving on, the NBA players bring in about $7.4 billion in revenue compared to about $52.4 and I believe that's a rough estimate by Forbes. 
So if we look at billion versus million, of course the NBA players are going to get more. NBA players are getting about 3.7 billion split for the NBA players. That means there's 3.7 billion for the players to be spent on. That's how much money they're going to get back compared to 20%, which is like nothing. I believe it's like 11 million for the whole league. So of course it's a little bit disparaging, obviously, you know, 50% versus 20% revenue split. But I think I, 2019, I believe is when the uh, negotiations end for the WNBA. If you feel that strongly, I would suggest you go and fight it. I don't think though, in my opinion, you're gonna get about 50%. You might get about 30 to maybe 35, but I think 50 is a big split because 52 million is not a lot of revenue to bring in to, an, to any sport. And the reason why I think that is is because the men's game draws a lot more attention. If we look at how many people are watching WNBA games versus NBA games, split is like this. 1.228 to 2.4 million for the NBA million average viewers compared to 266,000. So think about that. I understand that these women want to get paid a lot more and it, sometimes it is frustrating because you do feel like the off-season work you put in doesn't really reflect how much money you really should receive. But at the same time, I don't think it's fair for you guys to say, oh, LeBron James gets all this 154 million. That's because he brings one, he brings a lot of ad revenue, he brings a lot of eyes to the NBA. And the WNBA hasn't had a player like that. I think when I was younger, I believed that it would have been Brittany Griner. But even their greatest NBA player of all time, Deanna Taurasi, she doesn't, she even took a year off from the WNBA to go play overseas. And I think that's what sucks about it is that you know you have these women that might have to go overseas to go and play games but if they do believe that they should get paid more like i said 2019 you can opt out of the player negotiations and see what you can get with the owners but i don't think like i said it's not fair to compare apples to oranges when it's talking about nba versus wnba players lebron james kevin durant steph curry they bring in all these people to watch they bring in all the ad revenue they bring in all these people that want to sponsor the nba because they like the product it all comes down to consumerism, and, I, and it's brutal to say, but it comes down to who wants to watch NBA versus WNBA. When you have NBA players, you know, they're a lot more athletic. I'm not saying that the women aren't athletic. Some of them are more athletic than the common man. But at the same time, when you're comparing NBA players, the top ones, let's say Diana Taurasi versus LeBron James, who's the more athletic guy or person, or so I should say? It's LeBron James. It, it's all depending on skills and how much people are willing to pay for a ticket compared to anything else. And I think these WNBA players, I agree that they are getting a little bit underpaid and I believe that they should get a little bit more of the revenue share. But when there's not that much revenue to bring in, then I don't think it's right for them to complain. If you wanna bring more people in, you know, use social media, use all this stuff. I don't see any social media stuff promoting WNBA stuff. I only see it with ESPN saying, hey, we got, you know, the Washington Mystics versus the LA Sparks type of deal. I don't see anything where it's, you know, Della Don watch Della Doan, watch Skylar Diggins, watch Brittany Griner. I don't see any of that when I when I see on Twitter or social media or even on the web on websites that I see. That to me is the one thing that you guys should really focus on. I don't know who the PR person is for the WNBA, but they need to step up their game if they wanna bring more eyes to the product. Your product has been increasing in viewership though. I saw that increase by a little bit of a percentage, I believe like 8%. So I think there is some positives going into it. You just have to kind of have a, I would say 76ers trust the process in terms of you know, growing the product each and every day. Obviously the NBA has its history as well, starting in the 40s compared to you guys. I believe you started in the 90s, if I remember correctly. But anyway, guys, this is going to be it for the video. The questions I want to ask you guys, do WNBA players, do they have a right to complain about the pay scale between NBA players? Does Skylar Diggins have a point that ESPN shows up too much LeBron? And does Frank Kaminsky eat too much lasagna? I want to know your guys' opinion in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, like I said, end of the video. Go and hit that subscribe button. Go and check out our other content that we have here on the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.